Hey, Jack Clips Painting here with another tutorial. We're taking these circa 2011 Blizzard Plastic Army Men for StarCraft II, and we're going to give them a hobby facelift, make them look like a uh, whole new model, lots of extra detail. And some of the stuff we're going to need for this is some files. This is the Army Painter file set. We got a flat, a rat tail, and kind of a flat slash triangular file this come in handy obviously a uh, really sharp hobby knife and some sanding sticks and these are some scribing tools they kind of look like dentist tools but they're called scribing tools you can get those on uh, Amazon and first things first was gonna knock off this really nasty kind of army men style base so we can put them on a nice miniature base uh, if you want to baby it you can use your hobby knife but uh, I just slap it right off of there and then clean that up with the hobby knife and our uh, flat file to kind of hog off some of that material, get it nice and flat. So the first thing we're going to do with this guy is get rid of all these nasty mold lines. They're all over the place. So I'm taking our flat file here and this is going to be a pretty rough grind and just get all those mold lines kind of file down and then use the back side of our hobby knife to kind of scrape it down get it a little smoother and then to finish it off we're going to use our uh, little sanding stick here that's a pretty fine grit and just smooth all that out really nicely and then go around the whole model and do that so this is after we've done all the mold lines gotten all that stuff removed and uh, you can see sometimes with these softer plastics it'll kind of pill up on you, you just use your hobby knife or whatever to get that stuff off of there and then next is going to come in the scribing tools and uh, we're going to focus on this one shoulder pad here and kind of go in with our scribing tool and very lightly kind of scratch in that detail where that little panel line is on his shoulder pad and just kind of deepen it up a little bit and get it a little bit more crisp this is going to help make that detail pop a little bit more and be more defined when we put paint on it so we're just going to go around with our scribing tools being very light. You don't want to dig in too much because if that uh, that scribing tool kind of digs in really deep and then it hops out of that panel line, it'll leave a big scratch and a flat surface and you don't want that. And then you can just kind of finish it off with your sanding stick there. So here it is. Uh, we've got all of our details kind of scribed in a little bit deeper. You can see I've gone around some of the larger details like the gun and the hands and the, uh, the head area and scribed those in. And uh, next we're going to use our little pin vise to drill out the barrel and some of our other little uh, circular style details like there's some ports and some exhaust things around the uh, the armor that we're going to kind of use our, our hobby drill to deepen and countersink so that those, those holes are a little bit more crisp and clean. So after we've done that, you can see that on the chest there, the gun barrel, kind of around the back where those exhaust ports are, I've gone in with that hobby drill and kind of re-deepened those, uh, those little holes and ports and stuff and got those nice and clean. And then we're just going to mount them up on our little pin here, just a piece of paper clip and some super glue going right into that hole in the foot. Going to glue that in there and get them ready for paint. So here I got my uh, rubber stoppers. Uh, I like using these over cork because they, uh, they last a lot longer, they don't degrade as much, and that rubber really helps uh, hold those pins in place because the rubber likes to grip and uh, not like to spin around on it. And I could just reuse them and reuse them and reuse them, whereas cork kind of degrades over time and you have to constantly replace it. And these are uh, rubber stoppers size number seven. Uh, they work for pretty much any uh, scale model this size. You can find them on Amazon if you just type in rubber stoppers number seven. Then we're just going to give it a nice clean primer. We've got our Steinol Res Gray. For our first coat here, I mixed my gray and black Steinol Res primer so it's a little bit darker. We're going to go around the whole model being really nice and clean, taking our time. We don't want that uh, 
primer to pull up anywhere and get too thick because this guy's details are already a little bit shallow so we don't want to totally blast him out of there with super thick primer just go around and do one initial coat and then once that's fully dry go in and do a second coat and one thing that can kind of help this process especially with some of these models that aren't uh, normal miniature grade plastic or uh, resin is taking some uh, rubbing alcohol on like a paper towel and just giving them a quick rub down to get any skin oil or uh, any any other stuff that might be on there that's gonna make that paint not stick very well that can help quite a bit and then once we get our first primer coat on there i'm just going to take our regular gray stino res primer and hit it with a light second coat so that our shadows and stuff are a little bit darker it's going to help us know where we need to start painting up all our highlights and everything on the model all right here he is with our second primer coat you can see it's a little bit lighter because it's that basic gray and our details are uh, a little darker, cutting them in a little bit more, and he's uh, ready to paint. Uh, part two of this video is gonna be live on Twitch, so if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, make sure you head over there. You can see the uh, Twitch URL right on screen, and I'll post it in the uh, description below. Make sure to come check us out, and I'll catch you next time.